Hello guys, and today I'm doing a Roblox tutorial video. In this video, I will be showing you how to make the Roblox building tools spike not do any damage to your character. First of all, we have to open up Roblox Studio. And you should, when you download Roblox, the launcher, you should get Roblox Studio with it. Just open it up and wait for it to load. Just waiting, waiting, come on. Okay, you just wanna log in to your regular account. Uh, if you already have, if you already have a place, go into My Projects. I'm just going to show you it in this Lua testing. Will it load? I might have to cut this part. Oh wait, nope. Okay. So you should have the toolbox on the side here. And here, you want to click on the arrow, and you want to go to the Roblox sets. You want to scroll down. It should be in Deadly Machines. And if you're doing like an obby or something for a personal server, this will be helpful. If you want people to think that the spike does damage, or if you want it to be just something, just whatever you need. Just insert the spike into your game. Now here you'll see in the workspace, you'll see the spike. You want to open it up, and you want to open up each and one of the spikes. You'll see here, it has something called a spike script. What you want to do is, here I'll test it. First I'll test it in solo, to show you guys that it does actually do damage. Play solo, is at the button at the top here. The spike is over here. As you can see I have full health. And when I touch the spike, I die, and I apparently I got flung that time. Oops, the recorder's in the way of the reset button. So, just reset, go back here. Now, you want to click on the spike, and if you open if you open the spikes up earlier, that's exactly where you want to stay. So, just right click and delete each one of those spike scripts. It's as simple as that. And then, once you have that done, you shouldn't be able to get damaged by the spikes at all. Because it has no script in them to kill. So that's, let's play solo again. Then walk over to the spike. And as you can see, I am not taking any damage whatsoever from the spike. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped you with whatever you needed with this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, just post it in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to help you later.